Let's talk about a technology that has made remarkable strides in recent years. I'm talking about the brain-computer interface. It has the potential to transform various aspects of human life. This story tells you how. What if we tell you that you could soon control your computer, phone and other digital devices using your thoughts? This is what an emerging technology promises. We're talking about the brain-computer interface. The groundbreaking technology aims to transform our lives in various ways. For instance, it can help assist people with disabilities, treat neurological disorders and improve healthcare. It can develop new ways for people to communicate. Users can enjoy an immersive gaming experience. Many companies and academic institutions are at the forefront of this technology. Several startups are exploring this path-breaking tech to enhance human capabilities. But what's more interesting is that China's brain-computer interface research is on the cusp of commercialization. Scientists have achieved advancements in developing devices that can translate neural signals into digital commands. In China, universities have played a vital role in BCI research. Significant research outcomes have been achieved in areas such as rehabilitation medicine, epilepsy treatment, and the diagnosis and treatment of psychological disorders. These are visuals from the Huan Hu Hospital in North China's Tianjin municipality. What you see on your screen is a wearable brain-controlled limb finger robot system. Referred to as the Ling Shi Finger, it's a non-invasive BCI rehabilitation system. Developed by the Tianjin University's neural engineering team, its clinical research has been ongoing for half a year. Meet Jiao, a local resident who participated in the clinical study. He lost the ability to grip with his left hand due to a stroke. It feels like it's my sixth finger. Just a thought in my mind and it moves. Current research data has confirmed that this system significantly accelerates patients' rehabilitation progress. While Tianjin University has made progress in non-invasive BCI, Beijing-based Tsinghua University is actively advancing minimally invasive brain-computer interfaces. In the Neural Engineering Laboratory at Tsinghua University's medical building, a young man named Bai, who has been paralyzed due to a car accident for many years, is now controlling an electric wheelchair with his thoughts. There's another clinical trial patient named Yang. He was also paralyzed at a high level, but can now proficiently use a brain-controlled exoskeleton glove. His previously non-functional hand has regained some gripping ability, demonstrating the effectiveness of brain-computer interfaces. Going forward, the research team plans to further expand its medical clinical trials with the goal of swiftly commercializing the technology to benefit patients. No doubt, the race to link our brains to computers is heating up. Elon Musk's Neuralink is another example the company has been working for years on a computer chip that can be implanted into the brain. Neuralink has successfully installed a brain implant in its second human patient. He had a spinal cord injury similar to the first patient who was paralyzed in a diving accident. According to Elon Musk, 400 of the implant's electrodes on the second patient's brain are working. The device has allowed the first patient to play video games, browse the internet, post on social media, and move a cursor on his laptop. Neuralink aims to provide the implants to eight more patients this year as part of its clinical trials. The neurotechnology startup wants to build direct communication channels between the brain and computers. Its vision is to supercharge human capabilities. The startup aims to treat neurological disorders like ALS or Parkinson's. This innovation can help patients overcome paralysis. Basically, Neuralink plans to help patients overcome a host of neurological conditions. 
In fact, in the future, the firm could facilitate speedy surgical insertions of its chip devices to treat conditions like obesity, autism, depression and schizophrenia. Though Musk wins most of the headlines, he's hardly alone in trying to make advances in this field. According to reports, the tycoon once reached out to join forces with implant developer Synchron about a potential investment. Unlike Neuralink's Link, Synchron's implant version does not require cutting into the skull to install it. Synchron's brain-computer interface implant is done using blood vessels. The Australia-based Synchron implanted its first device in a US patient in July 2022. While the brain chip implant appears to be promising, it requires perfection and rigorous testing. It seems this revolutionary technology could shape the future of human-machine interaction, but the road ahead will be challenging and unpredictable.